Uh, first, can you just reintroduce yourself to the world? Yeah, I am Rev Yearwood, President and CEO of the Hip Hop Caucus. All right, and thank you so much for coming to the conference, taking some time to talk to everybody. Uh, first thing, what did you like about the conference? These conferences are critical for us to come together to discuss the moment that we're in. We're in a moment of crisis in regards to our climate, and crisis for our democracy, and crisis for us just coming together as people. So these opportunities for us to come together are just are so important, and so we have to be here. And plus, I met my alma mater exactly. at Howard University, so you know, always going to be back home. Right, right, right. Um, what are some things that you uh, were going to take away from this conference, maybe from the other panelists, some of the questions? Well. Our panel was on Hip Hop 50 and how hip hop is used to um, shape not only the past but the future. And the one thing we discussed without a doubt is that it's the movement that moves the artists. And when the movement is strong, the music is strong. But when the movement is weak, uh, uh, the music is weak. And so we have to do a better job of making the, having a stronger movement um, and getting out there. I think the next thing I wanted, I think, is this, this election season and we're getting ready for 2024. And so for us at Hip Hop Caucus, I respect my vote campaign right. is front and center, vote to use that. But we want to make sure people get out to the polls and are educated about policy. Because either you shape policy or policy shapes you. And for too long, policy has been shaping us. I hear you. And that's kind of my next question. Um, if we look at the 2022 midterms compared to 2018, mm -hmm. black voter um, population as a share of that vote, it went down. Politicking is all about getting more people to the polls, more black people to the polls. How can hip hop be part of that solution of getting people to the polls? Easy, easy. Hip hop can help you get to the polls by being true tellers. What people want, no matter where you are, Republican, Democrat, independent, they want truth. And they see what's before them. They see the floods, they see the earthquakes, they see the poverty, they see the despair, and they don't just want to hear rhetoric. They want change. Mm -hmm. And so what they want is truth. They want to figure out, and they want solutions. And so that's what we're happening now. So hip hop can do what they always done, is be, you know, be the, the CNN for the hood, mm -hmm. uh, for the world, so to speak. And I think that their job is to now put it in their lyrics and put it in their music so that they can make that change happen. And I'm just hopeful that, you know, that we understand our moment right now, that this moment is for me, our lunch counter moment for the 21st century, that we are no longer just fighting for equality that they did in the 20th century, but we are, well, we're still fighting for that, but now we're fighting for existence in the 21st century. So we have to use everything we can, and that, if that means using our lyrics, our music, our dance, our style, but most important for hip hop is what, is how we can envision the future, mm -hmm. and, and, and what kind of future do we want to see. There you go. Appreciate your time. No, Appreciate thank your time. you. Thank you so no, much. No, thank you.